Hello. Thought I would uh, have a little bit of time on my hands and thought I would make a little bit of a video about uh, Air's Mass Dubbing. Uh, I make my own. Uh, one of the things that uh, some hints to use with this is whenever you get ready to do this, there's several type of cl uh, clippers to use. These small o oyster, oyster brand, I guess, is the ones that I found works the best on these because they'll clip uh, really down close. They work better than the beard trimmers. And the other thing to have around is just a electric coffee grinder. And I buy these little condiment cups at Walmart or one of the local grocery stores. And before you ever start clipping on this stuff, it's always best to go ahead and have these labeled, like from the cheek, the pole, hair's ear, and just regular hair. And that way when you clip the stuff off in different areas, you can add it to these little dishes. Then later on, you can blend it with additives. All I'm gonna be doing now is gonna be with natural and I'm gonna clip around the ears. I have found that if you lay this on paper or some type of paper, it works a lot better. Uh, you can let this stuff just fall and get on the paper and then just sort of dump it off into the little cup. But all I'm trimming right now is just from the ear. It's where the real spiky stuff is. And these are clippers. Uh, I don't know what model they are or not. They uh, they get down in all these little crevices very good. And get some of the better spiky dub out of the crevices. And you'll notice different colors. And you don't want to... Uh, or if you want to make a certain color, you try to avoid, say, the white area uh, and just sort of get some of the darker stuff. I'm not going to click at all. I'm just going to click some to show the process. Okay, that right there is from the ears. So just take your paper, roll it up. And a big thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is labeling and writing stuff down. Uh, the bad thing is when you get to be my age, you'll forget what you're doing half the time. And you take your stuff and clip it off then you forget what part it was, where it come from and everything else. So labeling is important. Uh, I'm going to cut some here from the pole, right in the center. That's a, uh, I like this area right here. It, uh, it makes a really nice double. And it don't take much of it to make a lot. Well, let me just pick that up and lay it over there. The cheek, which is out here on the side, it's a very, and also right here, something else. I'm trying to stay in the camera. Is the whiskers. I always try to cut those things off. And I got a little bag that I save them in. Uh, they make, uh, you soak them in a little water, they make great quill bodies. After you get them soft. But we'll cut some of this right here off. It's the cheek of the Harris mask. It's spiky, it's got a lot of under fur. Uh, this one's going to be a real uh, buff tan color down in there. Uh, all of them's different. Uh, you never know until you start trimming on them what they're going to be. I've got a bunch of Harris masks I've bought over the years that I cut on and take stuff off of and all of them's a little bit different. some of this cheek in with your dubbing it, it makes it dub better it uh it really does and so we're gonna let me get this cleaned out a little bit it's got some 
All right, we're gonna start with the hair's ear. We'll put a little ear in there. And just hit it a time or two. That's normally all it takes. I mean, and this stuff will blend right up. Now it's just all spread out. And I'm gonna mix this hair's ear and Tron. We'll start out by 50-50 blend and see how that works. Like I said, it don't take much to get this stuff really stirred up. And there's what uh, we're looking like. It needs a little bit more. We'll just go ahead and put the rest of this in the ear. And we can add a little bit of the regular rabbit. Cheek area. Like I said, it don't take much stirring to get this stuff really worked up. And it, uh, if I dye it, I like to dye it off the mask. And um, there's the consistency we got in this stuff. And a lot of times, if you're really curious about it, just take some, just sort of twist it in your finger and see how it wraps. And it's got a lot of guard hair in it, but it's good looking stuff. And just sort of try it out and see how it wraps you. If it don't wrap good, add a little bit more of the cheek into it. And this is something you don't want to do where there's a lot of air circulating either. Like a uh, ceiling fan. You'll have this stuff everywhere if you don't. But... And you can also take mix it by hand if you don't have a coffee grinder. It just takes a lot longer, but it makes a pretty good dubby. It's good to touch dub with. It's good to make a dubbing noodle uh, out of a, by splitting your spring or string. Um, I makes a dubbing brush. Uh, it's really. You know, a lot of times you can mix it all together. If you want it real spiky, put you some pole in with it. And that changes it pretty quick. But that's about as much as you can. You can take a dryer sheet and go around the inside of this and it'll cut down some of the static. Uh, this hair is bad to keep all this static. But there's what you end up with. That's the finished product. I hope you can see that pretty well. If you like these videos, you know, like them, subscribe. And I'll see if I can keep making some more. Maybe somebody will pick up on something. But thank you. And maybe we'll make another one here later.